Synology Photos Review, my experience. After moving from Moments and Photo Station, after finally upgrading to DSM 7.0, I dove into Synology Photos, and honestly, it's been a bit of a mixed bag for me. The first thing I noticed was how clean and fast the new interface is. It's so much more responsive than Photo Station or Moments ever were. Uploading photos, switching between views, organizing albums, it all just feels snappier. The UI is much more modern, and that actually made me excited to start organizing the mess that was my photo library. I've used both Moments and PhotoStation in the past, and Synology Photos feels like a natural merge of the two, though not a perfect one. I really like how everything is more centralized now. You get folder view and timeline view, which helps switch between structured browsing and a more visual chronological way of seeing your life unfold. Adding photos is as simple as clicking the orange Add Photos button, and creating albums or shared spaces only takes a few clicks. I also like how Synology has added conditional and smart albums based on facial recognition or metadata. That's a really smart touch and makes life a lot easier if you have a large library. What's even better is the search and filtering capabilities. I was able to filter images based on camera model, lens, ISO, exposure time, you name it, but I did stumble upon a weird bug while searching file names. Typing ZBook, which I had in some file names, gave me nothing. While typing storage review, another keyword in Filmimes, worked. That inconsistency threw me off, and honestly, it made me hesitate to rely on the search for more complex queries. Another hiccup I ran into was the lack of mouse over metadata. In timeline or folder view, if you hover over a photo, you don't get a quick preview of file name, size, or date like you would in Windows Explorer. You have to click the image and then hit the eye icon for details, which feels like unnecessary friction, especially when I'm managing hundreds of files. The mobile app experience was okay, not great. I used the Android version, and while the setup was smooth and backup worked fine, the app lacks basic features. You can't rotate or crop photos, and there's no way to filter content within the app. It feels like Synology focused all their energy on the web version and left the mobile side a little underbaked. It does what it needs to do, view, upload, and download, but don't expect any advanced management tools there. When it comes to sharing, Synology did a really nice job. It works like Google Drive. You can share links, set permissions, and even password protect shared albums. I found it super handy to manage everything from the sharing tab where I could see what I shared and who has access, but I was kind of surprised there's no real way to create multiple shared spaces easily. Also, once you share something, deleting the album doesn't remove the photos from your library, which is good for data protection, but took me a second to realize. A big letdown, though, is that you can't manually tag people in photos. Synology Photos uses facial recognition, which is great when it works, but if the person is looking away or the AI doesn't catch them, you're out of luck. No way to manually fix it. Same story with geolocation. You can't manually set or edit the photo location if it's missing or incorrect. That's a huge gap if you're serious about archiving or organizing by trip or place. One more thing, when you upgrade to DSM 7.0, photo station and moments are no longer available. So once you make the jump, there's no going back. I had a bit of a messy experience with migrating my libraries, especially with folder structures getting jumbled. Not a total disaster, but it definitely took some manual cleanup. In the end, I think Synology Photos is a solid step forward in a lot of ways, especially with speed, design, and the centralized workflow, but it's still missing some pro-level features and polish. If you just want a fast, organized, and good-looking way to manage and share your photos, it's worth the upgrade. Just go in knowing it's not perfect yet. I'm hopeful they'll keep improving it in the next updates.